talk about jeans. These jeans, if you have them on your favorite pair, you can fix it. Like patching it up with new fabric. Or if you didn't, you might have a little problem. Now let's talk about your other genes. The DNA that includes all the proteins in the body. Unfortunately, mutations in those genes can cause life-threatening diseases, and sometimes there's no drug or surgery available for treatment. So, what can be the best strategy to patch up the mutated gene or at least deliver a correct copy to cells in the body? That is where gene therapy comes in. Studies in animal models are very promising, but scientists need to be sure of the long-term safety of correcting or delivering genes in humans. It's a problem worth solving, because gene therapy cannot only cure genetic diseases, it could be a real kick in the pants to cancer. So what is gene therapy? It's the introduction removal or change in genetic material, specifically DNA, or its molecule cousin RNA in the cells of a patient to treat an inherited or developed disease. There are two kinds of gene therapy, in vivo and ex vivo. In vivo, also called direct delivery, where the selected cells remain in the patient's body. Ex vivo, also called cell-based, where the selected cells are removed from the patient's body, then returned after the gene therapy is administered. Gene therapy can be administered in a couple of ways. Typically, genetic material such as a working copy of a gene is transferred into the cell. Once in a cell, the transferred genetic material changes how proteins are created, so they can do the work that the gene is not functioning. Proteins are the building blocks of how we function, so they make a big impact on our health. A vector, which is often a virus, delivers a gene into the cell. Well, don't worry. The vital genes that could cause disease are removed. Then, the vectors are directly injected into the patient's body. The new working gene is able to alter the behavior of the protein within the cell, whereas cell therapy uses living and sometimes genetically modified cells to help treat a disease. That is all you guys, Chris will be nice and mind to tell you more about gene therapy. I am Felicia and this is our gene therapy vlog. People may often ask, can these viral vectors make you sick? Well the answer to this would be no. Since these viruses which are utilized in gene therapy are engineered to minimize the possibility of side effects. To ensure that human cells are not affected, these viral vectors are evaluated in animals and human trials. Although like other treatment, it also has some risks that should be taken into account. Before discussing the pros and cons of this therapy with an expert would be great before taking an action. Gene therapy has numerous uses. Here are some. Replacing genes that are absent or faulty. Deliver genes that accelerate cancer cell termination. Provide genes that cause cancer cells to return to their original state. Deliver bacterial or viral gene as a form of vaccination. Supply genes that promote or inhibit the growth of new tissue. Deliver genes that stimulate the healing of damaged tissue. There are also numerous strategies that are being used in gene therapy, but the two methods currently being studied are gene addition and gene editing. Gene addition is a genetic treatment that involves adding genetic material to a person's cell in order to compensate for damaged gene. Gene editing is an up-and-coming approach that works with gene and cell therapies. There are no approved gene editing treatments yet, but many are currently in preclinical and clinical trial phases. The goal of gene editing is to remove or correct faulty elements of the DNA within the gene. This can be done either inside or outside the body using the patient's own cell or donor cell. I am Chrysler Francisco and this is Gene Therapy Vlog.